Hello, I'm Emma Milne. Now, incredible as it may seem, around a thousand animals every day go missing in the UK. And this could be for a variety of reasons. Maybe they've strayed too far from a new home, been frightened by a loud noise like fireworks, or maybe their inquisitive nature's taken them into a shed or garage where they've become locked in. All of these things can be incredibly distressing for both the animal and their owner. So today, as part of Microchip Month, I'm here to tell you about a safe, simple and straightforward procedure that will give you peace of mind and help you keep track of your animal throughout their life. Today we're in the Medivet practice in Hertfordshire and this is Jo with her dog Tooley. As you can see, Tooley's a three-year-old, very happy, healthy black Labrador. So Jo, what made you think about having her chipped? Well obviously, you know, Tooley's quite a big dog and she kind of does take me for a walk around the park sometime and so I'd hate for, you know, some reason she gets kind of lost and then, you know, she's lost to me forever. I just want to be safe rather than sorry. Yeah. And do you have any concerns about it at all? Well, I'm just a bit worried if it hurts and, you know, kind of how long it lasts, whether I have to renew it. I think they're both very natural concerns, particularly with the pain. Um, but, I mean, particularly with dogs like Thule, you know, she's a happy Labrador and if you put a biscuit in front of her, she probably wouldn't even notice. It is just like having any other injection, like a vaccination or an antibiotic. Um, and in dogs, it goes under the scruff of the neck where there's all the loose skin. As for how long it lasts, it's absolutely for life. So you don't need to worry that you're going to have to keep having her injected, you know, every two or three years or, or that, that kind of thing. Because if you think they're designed even to be, you know, for tortoises that can last a hundred years, um, there's no way that it's going to fail within the lifetime of, of, of this little lady. So I'll show you how simple it is. All of the chips come in these sterile packs and in sterile implanters, so you haven't got any worries about infection or contamination. So we just take the lid off and then we literally just pull the skin of the scruff up, give it a little rub, and that's it. Well done. There are plenty of myths and misconceptions about microchipping pets. People worry about the discomfort for the animal, but tracer chips are hardly bigger than a grain of rice. With a comprehensive system like this one, you have the pet log secure database and individual wallets for all of your pet's documentation. The chip is scanned by passing a chip reader over the area like this. Remember that chips do vary in quality, but some, like tracer chips, are much easier to read than others, which is important because the scanners can vary too. Um, and unlike some that you may have heard of, the manufacturers of tracer chips won't sell your data to third parties, which I know for some people is, you know, quite a worry. Mm -hmm. So, Emma, um, what happens if Tula gets lost? Basically, wherever she gets lost, she'll be taken to a vet or a shelter or the dog warden and all of those places will have scanners and immediately the database she's registered with will have all your details. There's someone there 24-7, so even if she went missing and didn't get found in the middle of the night, there'd always be someone on the phone, so you don't need to worry. Okay, thanks. That's all right. I hope we've shown that microchipping is a safe, simple, cost-effective and pain-free way of protecting your pet. It avoids the possibility of them being rehomed or kept in a shelter if they go missing. And it's not just dogs like Thule who can be microchipped. Cats, birds, horses, rabbits, fish and even reptiles can be too. So don't put it off. Speak to your vet today.